Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my nursery and welcome back for another video. This is Sharon with Serenade Nursery and today is Wednesday, September 7th of 2022 and it is also day three of this 28 day outfit a day challenge thing that's going on. Uh, and there's quite a few channels doing it and I decided to join in the challenge myself so um, this has been a lot of fun and uh, it'll give me a chance to show off every baby I have in my collection yay and uh, so we have in front of us today this is little baby um, Cheyenne this is the Cheyenne sculpt by Elena Peterson and um, I believe she was available through Bountiful Baby and she was reborn by Jenna from Jenna's Words and Stuff on YouTube and I believe on eBay which is where she has a lot of her babies is um, I think she's Jenna JDS 11 I think on on eBay so you can look her up and uh, and and uh, look at her work uh, I have several dolls by her we have gotten to be pretty good friends um, when I started uh, my collection about two and a half years ago or so and uh, anyway Cheyenne has um, three-quarter arms and three-quarter legs which means that she is like extra cuddly and uh, you know I know a lot of people love the the full limbs as do I um, but let me tell you the three-quarters um, you know it makes them even more movable and more cuddly and and yeah so there are advantages to both ways but uh, anyway we're gonna go ahead and change her up oh let me show you her details and stuff here but she has she's um an AA baby as you can probably tell and uh, she has um pretty thick rooted hair here and uh, it is the the kind of hair it's it's real curly and it kind of goes like every which way and it's the kind that's gonna you know frizz up quite a bit if you're not careful with it so I keep her regularly conditioned and uh, uh and you know I just I when I kind of feel like her hair has kind of gotten a little flat. I will just kind of um, wet my fingers and just kind of go like this a little bit with her just to kind of give her, you know, to, to fluff her up just a little bit because uh, she's got the kind of hair that she needs to be fluffed up from, from time to time. But um, I mean, she's super cute. Um, I will show you guys that she does have a couple of little shiny spots on her and it's not just the way the light hits her. I, you know, there's one here above her eyebrow and then the other one is on this side, you know, kind of above her eyebrow. And I think um, I've, I've heard that this can happen a lot to uh, darker skin babies, um, especially if the, the varnish layer is, is a little bit thin. So um, I'm trying to get some advice on uh, what to actually put on her to, um, to uh, help with the, the shiny spots. And uh, she was done with Genesis Heat Set Paint and uh, I've had her in my collection for a couple of years now and she's not handled very often. Uh, you know, I handle her about, um, mm, well, I have so many babies that I can kind of spread the wealth. So like everybody doesn't get handled too terribly often, like unless I'm maybe holding one or changing one, but I'm, I'm very careful with, um, you know, with how I handle all my babies. And so I've, I've never had uh, that to contend with uh, in terms of having someone uh, get some shiny spots on her. Um, I did get some advice from another artist that I've been communicating with, but um, if you guys have any other suggestions, uh, please let me know. Like um, now she does have rooted hair, so it would have to be something air dry because um, obviously with her hair, I can't stick, stick her into a heat source <laughs> because uh, you know, her, her hair would catch fire. So yeah, not cool, not cool, not cool. So um, if anybody has any recommendations, of something that I can just kind of maybe just dab like very very thinly on her uh, you know to kind of help out with that a little bit um, it's not real super bad yet and I don't think I notice it any place else like I thought I noticed some like around here and, and on her nose but um, I, you know uh, I don't think so and I haven't noticed anything like on her hands or feet or anything I keep their feet very well protected like everybody's always in socks or a sleeper or something uh, her hands do kind of stick out a little bit. Um, I probably should put mitts on her, but I'm, I, I usually don't put mitts on the babies unless like it's kind of goes with the outfit and all that. So anyway, tell me what you guys think. And, um, you know, if there's anything that you guys can suggest that, um, I can just put just really, really thin, like on her. Cause I think she would just maybe need just a little tiny bit, uh, in those little areas. But anyway, 
Uh, let's go ahead and show you guys what we're going to put her in today and then um, I will talk about my little topic and I have an announcement to make too. So um, I know this is Wednesday and I know that um, I think Shara from Reborn Living Dolls I think does the on Wednesdays we wear pink. So um, this kind of definitely fits in with, with that. And uh, so this is a, a child of mine by Carter's. It's a newborn, it's pink, and it's got like a little um, flower on it. I thought, you know, we would see how she looks in pink. You know, being with her darker skin tone, she may just really rock pink. <laughs> we will see. And then uh, with the pants, uh, I believe that these are Serco. Let me just make sure. Yeah, these are Serco. And uh, this is a newborn size as well. So I thought these would really go together. And as you can see, the little dots that would go with Theme Thursday as well. So you've got little polka dots and I love polka dots, but um, I know the pink is, is slightly a different shade, but I thought this would go really well together. So yeah, that's what we're gonna put her in today. And so, um, as I said, I do have a topic and I do have an announcement. Let's go ahead and start out with the announcement. Um, I am reborn expecting, <laughs> so wanted to kind of give you guys that um, I am reborn expecting. I'm not going to tell you who it is or where the uh, baby is coming from. You'll just have to wait and see until the box opening, but um, I am reborn expecting. And uh, just also to let you guys know, um, over the next little while, um, probably over the next few months or so, there are going to be some additions to the nursery. So that's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. That will be so, so, so much fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, so just wanted to make that announcement, so be on the lookout for some box openings coming up, and there's going to be one coming up very soon, I think, um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, maybe next week, I sure hope so, depending on, um, how quickly, uh, the baby will get here, so yeah, um, I am expecting, so yeah, be ready for a box opening, yeah, Cheyenne's going to get us, um, Cheyenne's gonna get a brother or a sister. Yeah, she's gonna get a little sibling, isn't she? Yeah, you're gonna get a little sibling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give her a little tickle. Aw. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Cheyenne's gonna get another sibling. And so, anyway, today's topic is gonna be about, well, I guess two things um, that kind of relate. Um, tell me about your very, very first ever reborn, or if it wasn't a reborn, um, like your very first maybe manufactured doll. Um, did you maybe get an Ashton Drake baby or a Paradise Galleries or, you know, did you maybe inherit a doll from, um, from someone else's collection, you know, kind of thing. So tell me about your, your very first doll, um, of this kind, uh, you know, whether it was a reborn or maybe a manufactured doll. And then also tell me about, um, how you got into reborns and, um, and how long you've... <clears throat> How long you have actually um, been in the hobby? How long have you been in the hobby? And her little socks are wanting to come off here. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and just take them off for a little bit until we get her pants on or whatever. And then we'll go ahead and put them back on her. Because with me taking her pants off, they're wanting to come off. And you know what? Like this little girl, um, it's actually a little hard to keep socks on her because uh, she doesn't like to wear socks. Like she's... Um, like she's, she's sort of the type of girl who just likes to let her little, little piggies hang out, right? Yeah, she likes to let her little piggies hang out. <laughs> but mommy likes to keep socks on her because, um, it, it keeps her feet nice and warm, especially on these cold nights that we're getting now. And, um, also it protects her feet and it protects her little toenails so they don't like, you know, it just, it just protects her little, her little feeties. Yeah, but she doesn't like to wear socks and forget trying to put shoes on her because uh, this little girl will not have it. <laughs> she will not have it. She will throw a fit. But anyway, anyway, so tell me about um, how you got into the hobby. Tell me about your first ever uh, doll. You know, tell me about your first ever doll, whether it was a reborn or a manufactured one. Um, and tell me how long you've been in the hobby. And yeah, so anyway, my thing is um, now um, I've always liked dolls as a, as a kid. I kind of outgrew them though. I will say like, you know, any other, you know, um, little girl or whatever, like most little girls or whatever, uh, as they get older, they kind of outgrow the, the doll thing and they move on to something different. And I was no exception. Like I was crazy about my Barbies. And uh, now I, I might've told the story when I first opened my channel, but um I, I definitely have um, a lot of uh, subscribers 
uh, since then and uh, hello to all my new subscribers and if you if you've got a doll channel or a crafting channel please let me know so I can come over and subscribe to you I should have said that in the beginning and also please consider subscribing to me um, yeah so anyway um, and I, I as I said I think I was talking about this in my very first video when I introduced this channel in gosh I think it was January of 2020 yeah is when I did that and uh, yeah so I was saying that I was crazy about my Barbies I would always always play with play Barbies um, and uh, I would always love to act out like the the stories that I would see on the soaps because my mom and I would watch the the soaps and then um, you know just uh, like TV shows that I would see like oh my goodness like um, yeah so I would always like when I act out that or you know act out some sort of wedding that got interrupted by uh, you know someone who didn't want them to get married because like maybe they were in love with the with the bride or you know somebody else is in love with the with the groom or whatever so um you know i'd always make up little <laughs> i'd always make up little stories to act out with with the barbies and um i did have my cabbage patch and i also did have a a um handmade doll from my grandmother that uh kind of resembled a cabbage patch but at the time that the the Coleco cabbage patches came out like the mass marketed ones and I didn't know at the time about like uh, you know the little people you know about the soft sculptured ones and so we could not get at the time we could not get um, cabbage patches because well you guys you know if you're old enough to remember how much people were fighting over them and um, and they were just you know the the there was just too much demand uh, for the supply that was available and so people were like fighting over them and they were just I mean you know it was it was just crazy this is back in I want to say like maybe 82 something like that and um, but the next year um, we all finally got our little cabbage patches um, the first one I got was a, a little preemie that uh, uh, my grandmother actually got us um, there were um, me and my two sisters so we each got a little preemie and then some months later we all got a, um, a, a big girl cabbage patch you know with the yarn hair and uh, so I had my two cabbage patches and I love them oh my gosh like they were very very much loved and uh, I don't have them anymore and even if I did oh my gosh you know I think they were much worse for the wear because oh my gosh they got played with a lot and um, and then my sister and I you know we had our share of um, baby dolls you know nothing like reborns but you know we had you know the, the different baby dolls you know the ones that had like open and closed eyes and you know just the ones that you would get like from the the, the toy store or like Walmart or whatever because yeah there was Walmart at the time it was kind of young and, and new but yeah there was actually Walmart <laughs> going on um, but yeah so we you know we had our collection of, of baby dolls that we played with and we had our cabbage patches and, and I was crazy about my my Barbies and but you know when I turned into a teenager you know when 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 I got older um, I kind of outgrew the doll phase for quite a long time and uh, uh, I still you know liked them I still like to look at them and I just I would go oh how cute but you know I'd never buy one I'd never ask for one and um, but I also loved um, uh, stuffed animals and so I had uh, you know um, a pretty good amount of, of stuffed animals I had several stuffed animals and uh, but anyway uh, let's go forward in time many 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 years when YouTube came about and um, I had seen a video on um, on, on these, these Reborn dolls. And uh, this was like years ago, years and years ago. I want to say maybe back in like 2009, 2010, something like that. And um, now my, my daughter, um, when she was taking her health class, she had one of those real care babies that, that she had to take home for a weekend. And uh, oh my gosh, like it's a good thing that she didn't have a babysitter key because I probably would have taken over the whole project for her because like I wanted to play with this baby. I did <laughs> because I thought it was so cool. And then um, I started seeing uh, these videos on these, on these reborn dolls. And I admit that um, when I first saw them, I, I, I was intrigued. I really was. I was intrigued. And, and uh, well, you know, I will say, and you guys know that this is not a mainstream hobby, that we are portrayed as being like sicko individuals. Um, you know, why would we do such a thing? Why would we have babies like this, you know? And, uh, you know, why would, why would we even do this? And I think it's, it, it has a lot to do with like the, the realism factor, like, you know, how real they look and, and such. And the fact that, um, you know, it's adults, you know, that are collecting these, the, the, you know, these dolls. And, 
I will admit, you know, when, when I first started seeing videos on, um, oh my goodness, you're poking yourself in the face. Oh my goodness, my girl here. Oh man, yeah. Um, yeah, you're not, uh, you're not into being changed today, are you? Oh my goodness, yeah, you're, you're a little bit grumpy today, aren't you? But, you know, uh, we had to get you some screen time because um, all of our fans want to see you. Yeah, they would love to see you. Yeah. So um, anyway, when I started watching these videos, and I will admit that um, I kind of fell into that category like, oh my gosh, you know, this is this is sort of like strange. But at the same time, I was intrigued. And, um, and you know, I was under the, the myth that um, you know, I hope, I hope these people realize that it's not a real doll, you know, like they're, they're kind of talking about it like a baby, you know, kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I will admit that I kind of fell into that, um, that category, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I kind of want one of those. <laughs> so I was kind of like waffling back and forth and I'm thinking in my mind, did I really just admit this to myself? Did I really just admit that I want one of these dolls? And, and uh, you know, do I really want to admit that I'm kind of fascinated by them, you know? And um, I will admit that, um, you know, I was in that in that camp. And uh, But at the same time, I was also intrigued. And so I started looking at stuff and I'm, and I'm kind of ooing and aahing over baby clothes and I'm going, I'm going, what am I doing? What, what the heck am I doing? You know, what am I doing to myself? And, uh, but then, um, you know, I, I had uh, left a couple of comments on some videos. I don't even remember whose they were or anything. You know, this was quite a long time ago. And, uh, you know, I did, I did my research, I did my homework and I'm going, whoa, you know, these are expensive. Like, it's not something that you can just, you know, go to, you know, the, the store and, and buy, you know, because these were made by, um, you know, made and, and, and painted by an, uh, an artist. And, uh, and I'm, and I'm going, wow, these are expensive. And, and, you know, do I really want to even go there because, because, you know, that is very, very expensive. Yeah. And, um, I just, I thought, oh gosh, you know, well, you know, maybe this is not going to be something that I will get into because the, the expense and, uh, then, you know, let's go forward in time a little bit more. And we started collecting, um, fountain pens. And let me tell you, that hobby can get expensive too, because um, if you know, especially if you're doing like um, vintage pens, or if you're getting like maybe modern pens that have like gold accents or or like sterling silver, you know, kind of thing, you're gonna get into some some pretty expensive ones, um, especially if they're if they're rare, especially if it's like a, a limited edition, you know. So um, and then you know you go to these pen shows, and um, because they do have fountain pen shows around the country and around the world, and you start going to that. And yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna like go goony. You know, if you like, if you like fountain pens, you're really gonna go goony over, over that. So fountain penning, <laughs> fountain penning, it can be an expensive hobby too, because not only do you need the pens, but you're gonna have to get ink, you know, to ink them up. And there are so many, so, so, so many different inks and, and colors and, and shades of colors and, and, and such. And, uh, and then, you know, not only do you need your pen and your ink, but you're going to need good paper to be able to write with your fountain pens. Because let me tell you, the, the Mead notebooks that, that school kids have, um, it's not going to hold up to your, your fountain pen and, and your ink. And so you kind of got this like whole trifecta thing when you're doing uh, fountain pen stuff. But anyway, I kind of digress. So at the time, you know, we were doing fountain pen and we still do, you know, we still do our fountain pens. And, um, um, at that time, I also started getting back into my journaling. And so then, you know, I was looking for nice journals. And uh, so the, you know, the, the reborn thing kind of, you know, uh, went out of my mind. But then I started watching videos again. And, and, you know, I talked to a few more people and I started looking on eBay, did, uh, you know, some more research. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I got to get me one. I just, I can't, I, I just, I can't, I got to get me one. I do. <laughs> so um, I started out with, in Ashton Drake baby I got uh, little peanut and little peanut was featured on one of my uh, actually on my very first video well actually let's go back a little bit um, I started again collecting the uh, Cabbage Patch Kids so um, I got into the the vintage ones and then I found the Babyland exclusive ones if you go to cabbagepatchkids.com they have what's called Babyland exclusives which are like the um, which are like the the old uh, Coleco ones, you know, the old mass marketed ones, only they're a little bigger. Um, these ones are like uh, the babies are 17 inch and then the, the big kids are, are 21 inch. So, you know, a few inches taller, a few inches bigger than the the um, 
the old vintage um, mass marketed ones from the 80s and they are big enough to actually wear like newborn size um, uh, baby clothes which is what they dress them in so I got a few of those and then I found a few like uh, the soft sculptures which are the the ones that are all made of all cloth not the they don't have the vinyl head they are all cloth and uh, so I found a couple of them on um, eBay and bought them and then and then and then I'm like okay I, I gotta I gotta get me a reborn <laughs> and um, so I started out with my little peanut um, Ashton Drake baby and I had her for a little bit you know messed with her uh, got her some clothes and uh, uh, and some of the clothes I got were kind of meant for some of the Cabbage Patch Kids but you know I, I uh, saved them for um, her because I ended up putting my uh, Cabbage Patch Kids well when I got my sanctuary done which is my craft room slash nursery area um, my cabbage patch kids um, went on doll stands you know kind of on my top shelf you know my my top shelves you know just to look really cute and um, I don't really mess with them too much because I don't want to uh, you know hurt them or get them dirty or anything you know so um, anyway um, fast forward in time a little bit after I got had a little peanut for a while then I decided to branch into the the world of, of actually getting a real reborn and so then I found my very first reborn on eBay um, hint hint from from Jenna <laughs> I bought one of uh, Jenna's uh, dolls that she had made one of Jenna's babies and actually she was the pumpkin sculpt by Donna Rubert and I just thought she was the cutest thing ever and I got her for a very very good price and I did her box opening on my channel, loved her so much. And then I started looking some more. And, you know, let me tell you, when you get your, your very first baby, like a lot of times, like a lot of us, we can never stop at one. <laughs> Somebody should have warned me a long time ago, but a lot of times you just can never stop at one because then you want to like, let's say you got a girl, then you want to get a boy then you want to get maybe one with another girl with like a different colored hair or maybe you want to get a different size baby you know and uh oh miss cheyenne you are just you are just not wanting to get changed today are you oh my goodness yeah a little doing a little kicking here oh my goodness but i promise once you get into your pink new outfit here you're going to be all happy but yeah so that is that is my story on um how i got into reborns yes and uh, so I could never stop at one baby um, got a little girl first then had to get a little boy so yeah um, the rabbit hole uh, opened up and uh, boy did I jump <laughs> boy did I jump <laughs> so um, yeah I, I now have quite a collection of of, uh, of these babies and uh, I have two I still have two Ashton Drakes I still have my little peanut and then I also have littlest sweetheart that I was talking about yesterday in um, while I was dressing Leah and messing with uh, messing with Leah you know we were talking about different size babies so I still have I still have those two little peanut as well as littlest sweetheart I still have those and I will bring them on camera I just I haven't given them any screen time lately I'll probably bring them on last because I want to do the uh, the, the reborns first and and show you guys those first and then we'll go ahead and bring the the two um, Ashton Drakes on camera so um, I have those two and then I think I have like 20 20 or 21 reborns now oh my goodness and uh, I have different size babies I have boys I have girls I have different skin tones I have different sizes you know I have different hair colors and I love 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 having the the variety because I have I have babies from different artists um, yeah so I love the I love 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 the variety I have babies from different sculptors um, I have some of the older bountiful baby sculpts I've also got some kind of popular sculpts a little bit and uh, I've also got some sculpts that are no longer available so yeah um, I have uh, quite the variety and I am so happy about that but yeah um, I decided to get into this hobby and I am so glad I did and so I am all in <laughs> and uh, yeah I am I am so all in and um, you know I don't subscribe to any of the myths anymore <laughs> and it was just because I didn't know any better like I was you know I was I, I was uneducated I just I didn't know guys you know I don't sue me I didn't know please don't sue me I did not know <laughs> and uh, yeah so um, but yeah I get it now I um, 
I'm pretty knowledgeable in the um, in the hobby now, and uh, you know I've been collecting quite a while. Um, not as long as some people have, but I feel like I've collected long enough to know and have done a lot of research to to understand um, this hobby a lot. And uh, I've never tried a painting one though, but but I do plan to dive into that and see if it is something that I can manage to do. Um, I do have limited eyesight, so um, it's um, it could be it could be a little touch and go. I don't know, but um, I never know until I try. So we're gonna try. And uh, I found with my situation that. Um, Usually, if there's a will, um, usually there's a way. If there's a will, there's usually a way. Not always, not always, because there's like no way I'm able to drive a car. Um, not unless they come out with some kind of like kit car, you know, kind of like how Knight Rider had, and I always said that, <laughs> but they'd have to have a car that kind of can drive itself and be, you know, commanded by voice activation or something, but that would be funny. Um, <laughs> so, you know, unless, like um, some of the sci-fi stuff can come true. There's just no way I'm going to be able to drive. So I know that that is totally out. Um, I found out that I cannot diamond paint. <laughs> it's just way too small. I do have a machine that will um, make things bigger. Like it'll, it's got a, a camera that will zoom in to make um, whatever is put on the, the tray and projected onto the screen look bigger. But um, I don't think it would be feasible to diamond paint under there because um, there's just not enough room for my hand under there. It's mainly used for reading, um, reading books and, and reading newspapers and stuff. So it's not really meant to, um, I mean, you can like write under there. You can do some writing under there, uh, you know, some general writing, but um, it's a little hard because your hand um, isn't going to fit under there very well. Yeah, so anyway, it's a little snug on her, this one. She might look better in some zero to three instead of newborn. So I'm gonna have to try some zero to three stuff on her because her little, her little belly is kind of sticking out there and it's a little snug on her. Yeah, it's a little bit snug on her. So um, she's like, mommy, this kind of tight. Yeah, this kind of tight, mommy. <laughs> yeah, um, we know, we know, we'll we'll fix it. Next time we bring you on camera, we'll, we'll get you into something a little bit looser, yeah. Maybe we'll put some PJs on her because I haven't had her in uh, PJs in quite a while. But anyway, there she is in her new outfit or yeah it's well it's not new I've had this for a while but um, it's the first time I've ever had it on um, on her and I don't know if any other baby has worn um, has worn this um, yeah so anyway there she is and uh, yeah I think she looks cute oh my goodness yep yeah we'll we'll make it up to you little girl we will <laughs> We will. We'll make it up to you. And uh, but yeah, you'll get some. You'll get some fans because you're just super cute. Yeah, you are. You're just super cute. Indeed, you are. Just very, very super cute. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So that is how I got into the hobby, and that was um, my first dive into the the uh, the doll hobby with the Ashton Drake baby, and then uh, spreading out into actually getting um, into the the actual reborns. And I uh, would love to hear about your experience, you know, your first experience into the hobby and what you got, what got you into it. And did you ever think that you would get into uh, this, you know, this kind of hobby? You know, did it, did it ever cross your mind, you know, that you would ever get into uh, a hobby like this? And how did you get into it? And uh, tell me about your very first reborn or your very first, like, uh, you know, manufactured baby, if, um, if that was what you got. Uh, before you got a, um, a reborn. So yeah, um, and if you also want to tell me about your first reborn, um, if you um, branched out from the manufactured dolls into an actual reborn. Yeah, so tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to hear all the dirt. I want to hear all the tea. I want to hear all the, the I want to hear all the good stuff. <laughs> And so does little baby Cheyenne. She's a she's a little gossiper. Yeah, she is. She's a little, she's she's a, she's a she's a character. This one here. She's a she's a sassy butt. <laughs> she's a sassy pants, a sassy butt. And uh, you know she's uh, very opinionated. And and she likes what she likes. And she doesn't like what she doesn't like. And and she'll tell you. Yep, yeah, she will. She'll tell you. And when she's all happy, she will she will charm the she'll charm the socks off of you and uh, she kind of charms the socks off of herself too <laughs> but yeah so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and I hope you guys enjoyed this video 
All right, guys, apologies. Oh my gosh, my camera cut off on me. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I didn't lose too much. Um, I was just saying I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, leave us a comment, tell me what you guys think. And uh, also uh, tell me about your experiences that I was, you know, talking about on this video. Would love to hear about yours. Yep, we want to hear all the dirt. We want to hear all the tea. We want to hear all the good stuff. Yep. <laughs> As does little baby Cheyenne. Yep, she's a, she's a, she's a character. And um, guys, let me know if you have a doll channel or a crafting channel. And uh, that way I can come over and subscribe to you. And my other channel, Sharon Sanctuary, which is basically my crafting channel. That's where I do like uh, adult coloring books, journaling stuff, planner stuff. I have like some Amazon hauls, some shopping hauls and all that over there. Um, if you want to subscribe to that channel, I would love to have you over there. Uh, the link to that channel is in the description section of my videos. So you can hop on over there and subscribe if you're interested in that. Uh, that is called Sharon's Sanctuary. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you guys have a doll channel or a crafting channel or um, anything that's, you know, that um, that I might find interesting, maybe a book channel or something like that. You know, let me know. Um, that way I can come over and follow you guys. All right, guys, have a great day. Uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please, 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 please be kind to each other and give all your babies a huge hug from all of us here at Serenade Nursery. All right. Bye, everyone.